Hello and welcome. Uh, today we look at how we can count the number of emails in your Gmail inbox. To do that, uh, we will use gmail.com application and uh, make sure that your basic HTML view has been uh, uh, made as your default view for your gmail.com. So what I did is I have uh, generated the code uh, using the descriptive programming primarily to try and access everything that is uh, needed. Uh, on the gmail.com all the objects that we need so to give you a very quick walk uh, uh, walk through the code the first step what we do is we open the Internet Explorer uh, and visit gmail.com after which I've used a descriptive programming to identify the name uh, email that is the web edit field uh, where you enter your email and I performed the set method and I entered my email ID there Similarly, I've identified uh, the password object using descriptive programming again and I've put in my set secure string. Finally, we click the sign in button, web button sign in to go to the website. So after we've done that, I created another new object called my checkbox and this object will hold two properties. The first property is it has a HTML tag of type input. The second is it is of type, this object itself is of a type checkbox. Before the test runs, uh, I have uh, given the default values into my total checkbox count and this will be the total number of emails uh, contained in your inbox. The logic that has been used to work on this is on each page of the gmail.com it will count the number of checkboxes that are present so every email has one checkbox and we will count the number of checkboxes on each page to do that I have put everything into a do loop first I said let's identify the item which has link older so basically you will have new, newer, older, oldest kind of uh, links on the top and bottom of your inbox section. On that section, I said, when you find a link with the outer text older dot star, the regular expression dot star is uh, in indicating anything, any link that starts with older in it. The index being first, that is the first object that it can find in the application. Once we have assigned that object to older link, I am creating another uh, object to find out how many child objects are there within the uh, web page of type my checkbox. So the my checkbox descriptive uh, object that we created here, I am reusing that in within the child objects. Finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the number of checkboxes on that page. After I've counted the number of checkboxes, I am going to add it to the old total, my total checkbox count. During your first run, it's going to be zero. And during every other run, it will add the number of checkboxes to it. Now, what we will do after that is we will check to see if older link, that specific link with older space and greater than symbol exists. If it exists, then I will continue to have my loop flag as yes. And I will also click on that older link, uh, link object. What that will do is that will take me to the next page. So supposing you have one to hundred emails in your first page of your inbox, then after you count that number of checkboxes there, you will go to the next email, uh, next page on your inbox. So if that object doesn't exist, it means that you have reached the last page. And that's when we'll say that loop flag is no. And then your while loop will stop to run. Finally, we will close the browser and print out the number of emails in your inbox, which is stored in the my total checkbox count. Now, let's run this test to see how it works. Now we have signed in to the Gmail application and here is the older text link that I was referring to. 
So on each iteration, it is counting the number of checkboxes and it is going forward to each next page. Okay, now we have completed the test. Now I can see that number of email in items in my inbox was 1086. Thank you everyone. I appreciate your time um, and I hope uh, this short video demonstration was useful for you to both identify how descriptive programming along with regular expressions work plus how you could count the number of checkboxes uh, to get to the number of email items in your Gmail application. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me at qtp.elearn at gmail.com or call me at 314-827-5272. Thank you.